You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast exploring scripture with Dr. T. Michael W. Halcom and Dr. Frederick J. Long. Welcome and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Proof Text. I'm Michael Halcom. I'm flying solo today in this brief grammar point episode. We're continuing to talk about uh, prepositions. Think about prepositions, however. And what I want to do here is just introduce you to the fact, I think we alluded to it in a previous episode, but allude to the fact that prepositions, when they're used, are going to call for nouns in certain cases. Now, a preposition will never call for a noun in a nominative case. So we're left with genitive, dative, accusative cases that prepositions are going to call for. So once we see a preposition, for example, and it's going to be followed by an adjective or a noun, the certain preposition that's used is going to call for a certain case on that adjective or noun or whatever word that follows that's acting like a noun. So, for example... If I uh, use the word ama, the preposition ama, it is going to call for a dative case in the adjective or noun that follows. If I use the preposition n, epsilon nu, it's going to call for a dative case in the noun, article, adjective that follows. Same thing with soon. It's going to call for a dative to follow it. So anytime that ama, en, or soon are used as prepositions, they're always and only going to call for a dative case word or a word in the dative case to follow. So these prepositions are going to be calling for certain cases with regard to the words that follow. All right, we'll talk about this more in future episodes. Looking for creative ways to launch your biblical language studies to the next level? We here at Glosa House create resources with you in mind. We've created a stock of innovative and cutting edge audio, video, digital, and print resources to help you reach your language goals. Visit glosahouse.com to find what you've been looking for. Glosa House. Language resources for the global community.